Man saves his dog from a vicious bear attack by punching the bear in the face. You gotta look after your homies. That dog would be dead if it had a female for a master. Naming the gender of the person was kind of redundant. What other gender would do such a thing? Love is what a man does and a woman takes advantage of. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy saved his dog from a bear attack. And they're like, oh yeah, woman wouldn't do that. There are heaps of people in the comments right now that have linked these two articles here. This first one, Alaskan woman punches bear in snout to save her dog. Yeah, female would never do that. A California woman pried open a mountain lion's jaws in an attempt to save her pet. That's even scarier. Prying open the jaws of a mountain lion. <laughs> female would never do such a thing. I'm almost impressed how they can turn anything into a way for them to complain about women. <laughs> it's so obvious that that's like the only thing that they think about at all times. Oh, what's that? Someone did super amazing that has nothing to do with women? Oh, yeah, I'll make it about women. <laughs> yeah, your chance for me to complain. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Today's the day, the 40,000 sub day. I thought to celebrate 40,000 subs, we'd do the two hard hitters today, the incels and the nice guys. I'm so grateful for you guys. You're all so amazing. Thank you for making my dreams come true. I'm so excited about right now. I'm so excited about the future of the channel. Dude, it's all coming up, Millhouse. I hope you're all doing amazing and hope you're having a great day so far. I'm so excited for this. Let's jump into some crazy incels. As a disabled guy, here's my advice to other guys. If you're not having much success with women, you're doing something wrong. I hear so many disabled and non-disabled guys making excuses for not getting girls. The truth is, if you're having no luck, you're doing it wrong. You're either trying too hard or not hard enough. Treat her like one of the guys, just chill. Have a laugh with her, but be a good listener. Be a little cheeky, but not cringe. Be chivalrous, compliment her, but don't suffocate her. It's all give and take. You have to walk a tightrope. Good luck and have fun. Yeah, that's exactly right. You can't just blame women for everything. You definitely aren't compatible with everyone, and if you try and date like two different people and neither from work, that doesn't necessarily mean you're doing anything wrong. If you've tried to date like 30 different people <laughs> and they've all ended badly, it's probably a you problem. But I don't think if you just go on a date out of nowhere and it doesn't end well, that it's necessarily you doing something wrong. As long as you are self-aware, which most incels aren't, you'll eventually realize that you're the issue. Yes, Redditors, I am entitled to being happy. Let me get this straight. You think you're entitled to love? I do, and I'm tired of pretending I'm not. Yeah, okay, you think you're entitled to love. The way that they say it is like they're just gonna sit back and wait until someone walks into their life and starts loving them. That's not how it works, bro. <laughs> a girl is not just going to come up to you and be like, oh, you're entitled to love. Okay, I'm going to love you now. <laughs> you need to put effort in. You need to work on yourself. That's the problem with thinking you're entitled to anything. You get lazy and you just sit around and you're like, oh, I'm entitled to it. I'll just wait. Dude, some amazing girl's not just going to knock on your door and be like, hey, <laughs> you're entitled to love. I choose you. Incels aren't even in the right headspace to love someone. They come right out of the gate super negative and super super cynical. They're not open-minded and you need to be open-minded and you need to be able to listen to people and you need to be less selfish to actually have a good relationship. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Some girl will just show up at my door and love me. <laughs> okay, man. All right. Here's some advice. Some of you guys are ugly, but the good majority of you guys are either average or slightly above. Some of you dumb guys could go out there and get girls if you weren't little punk PRGs. They just want to whine. You're not ugly. You're just painfully average. What frustrates you is that, you know what, isn't being mailed to you. Y'all are cowards. Get rejected and then move the hell on. There are plenty of girls out there that will suck your ting dog. For the unfortunate few, you have my deep condolences. I pray for your lives to improve. The rest of you average face guys can go suck a ding dong. <laughs> okay, so this person did go a little bit over the top, but where they were saying that they just expect, you know what, to get mailed to them. That's exactly right. I deserve love. I deserve sex. I just, <laughs> I'll just wait until it shows up. It's never going to work unless you put effort in and you actually try. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you can complain about it all you want and you can get as negative as you want about women, but it's never going to help the problem. Incels, I fear no man. But an incel named Chad, it scares me. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait a second. I made Chad up in my mind. He doesn't really exist. Or even worse, he's one of us. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that I can't blame everything on Chad? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stacy's about to be a homeless meth head spit roasty. The true cringe was this comment. Spot the incel. Spotted the ding dong carousel 
carousel rider next up, Flavor Town. Sure, man. And what if I am a ding dong carousel rider? Not his goddamn problem. Yeah, I have no idea what context this is in. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't really care. It doesn't make it any better. I cannot wait to check out some Made Me Smile post soon. How many sex, you, oh, I don't even think I can say it, should a man be allowed to own in an ideal society? Zero, women should have equal rights, 18.5%. Zero, Foids should be housewives with few rights, 14%. One, 14.8%. Two to four, 18%. Five to 10, 1.9%. As many as he can afford, 31%. I don't even know what to say. That's how insane incels are. They'll do stuff like this, and then they'll be like, oh, why don't women give me a chance? Because you're awful. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it. Penis after one partner. Penis after two partners or regular masturbation. Penis after three partners or excessive masturbation. In bracket, ruined. <laughs> you can still use the bottom one for penis bread. <laughs> you can whip up a batch of muffins, no problem. That's a creative chad right there. So what we learned from this is uh, keep your PP, keep it away from people unless you're going to make banana bread. Finally, one that made me laugh and not want to cry. Girls dating. Oh my God, I don't know who to choose. He makes $15,000 a week, but the other one is so hot and has a massive ding dong. It's a tough decision, but you don't want to get stuck with the wrong one. Ha ha. Boys dating. I just want someone to love me that I can love back. I want someone I can feel happy with. <laughs> oh my God. See what I mean? You're not the victim incels. You will make a poll asking other incels how many sex you know what they should have. And then you'll be like, oh, I just want to love someone. No, you don't. <laughs> can someone try and help me understand this? They contradict everything that they say. If you actually do want to love someone, maybe start treating them with at least some respect. Oh my God. Only married women with kids deserve respect. A woman's role in society is to marry a suitable, hardworking man and bear his kids. Any woman who doesn't fulfill that role is a waste of resources. Uh, S word, single mums, non-virgins before marriage. Women with abortion should all get the death penalty. What did we just talk about? This same person would be complaining and being like, oh, why am I single? <laughs> why don't they understand that they're the issue? It's so obviously not the fault of other women. I really don't know the answer here, but this isn't a way to live. And I really, really hope that most of these incels grow out of this and that they don't think like this forever because you're not going to get a good life from acting like this. No way. What incels think they are when they threaten someone? Me just knowing that they'll do absolutely nothing. Well, the main part about being an incel is not putting in any effort with women. So I'm sure there are some high functioning incels out there, but you can tell when you read it whether or not they're serious or not, or whether or not they're just trying to be edgy. A lot of it just feels like they have anger issues and they don't know how to control it and they just let it out on someone, you know? And guess what, guys? We're checking out some Made Me Smile now. That was enough incels. Probably enough for three or four days and we didn't even check out that many. That's how <laughs> that's how hard it is to get through these videos. Let's cleanse our souls right now with some Made Me Smile. In the Who Cares news, I'm 400 days sober today and 323 smoke free. I have no one to share it with, so I'm celebrating with you guys. That's that's incredible. Well done. I care. That's amazing. You should be so proud of yourself. I think about this in my own life. I don't really have any addictions. Like I don't smoke. I don't drink too much. I don't really have any dangerous addictions or anything. But like I have bad habits. You get addicted to something. You sort of embody the person who does those things. But as soon as you break away from that, you can create a new person. You can become the person who doesn't do that. And you can identify as that. And you can make that a good habit. It's so bloody awesome. And it must be so hard. I have no idea how hard it is. But I imagine it would be bloody insanely hard. So well done. Keep up the good work. Oh, got the original PlayStation and the PlayStation 5. That's so cute. <laughs> I can remember playing on the PS1, playing Abe's Odd World and all those sorts of games. Enjoy your PlayStation 5, bro. That's awesome. It's clear in the lease that no pets are allowed in the apartment. Sorry. Uh, what about my frog? <laughs> okay, I will make an exception because he looks very polite. What about my little beautiful frog? Frogs are really cool. <laughs> I get those real cute green ones on my windows of a night time. They're so damn cute. You just want to pat them on their little head. I thought it might be good to let you all know that my friend Melissa's bird sometimes rides the dog as a horse. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> oh my God. That could be the best thing I've ever seen. Look how happy it is. <laughs> Just so content with life. Oh man. That's so beautiful. Guys, I'm going to leave today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. That was some more insult tea and some more made me smile. I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. And thank you so much for helping me reach 40,000 subs. That's insane. Ever since this channel started doing well, it hasn't even felt real. Like it all feels like a good dream. Like a really good dream. Thank you so much for supporting me and sticking by me. I love making videos.
videos. And I'm gonna love making videos for a long time in the future. I'm not going anywhere. Today's comment of the day goes to Timmy the Turtle. I cringe so hard that my turtle came to comfort me. I want to comfort turtle. God damn it. I don't think there could be anything sweeter than that. All right, guys, time to get out of here. Have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely night. And I'll see you all tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you guys then.